Welcome, my name is Maggie Winsler and Margaret Preston, who works with Power Over Parkinson's, um, got in touch with me and asked if I would share some exercises with you all so that everybody can stay active while you're at home during this quarantine and tricky season of life. And I am so thrilled to, um, to be able to do that and to help everybody out. Um, I'm going to be going through lower body exercises, upper body, core, and stretching exercises in four different videos. And I will be going over various modifications, um, everything from very beginner level modifications of an exercise all the way up through fairly advanced. Um, I'm not demonstrating reps and sets necessarily. I'm doing more of a tutorial of the how-to and the form of the exercise so that then you can make up your mind on um, the, the weights that you use, if you have some dumbbells accessible or if you can order some off of Amazon and you can decide how many um, sets and reps feels good. Even just one set um, of some of these exercises is great and it moves, it gets us moving, it helps stimulate our nervous system, helps to um, increase the, the flow of the lymphatic system, so lots of internal health benefits in addition to keeping our neuromuscular systems nice and, um, and with it and strong. So so keep that in mind. This, these exercises can be used however you'd like. Um, if that feels a little too intimidating and you would like some more guidance, then certainly reach out to somebody um, with Power Over Parkinson's and you and I can connect more directly and speak about um, what might be best for you. I would generally recommend um, that if you pick a, if you pick the level of exercise that feels appropriate for you and your fitness level, then um, and your ability level, then I would say. 12 to 15 reps is probably going to be the, the safe zone as long as you feel that you can um, feel some general fatigue in that in that rep range without overdoing it. Um, we always want to make sure that safety is first and foremost, hence why I am going to be showing you lots of different modifications so that you can pick the one that's really going to be feeling the best for you. Uh, to give you a little bit of background real quick about me, um, again, my name's Maggie Winsler. I have two sons, one four-year-old and uh, one just over one-year-old. He's almost 14 months. And they keep me really busy, <laughs> but before running around and chasing after them, I, um, I've been working in the fitness industry for about 15 years, so I've been running around after lots of different people of different age ranges and different um, abilities and uh, people with different internal, internal health diseases, um, people undergoing radiation and chemo, uh, people coming out of heart surgery, people with missing limbs and prosthetics. So I've really seen um, the full full range of spec the full spectrum here, including you know young healthy individuals who are trying to qualify for the Boston Marathon or you know try out to be a part of the military. So I really love um, seeing the the broad spectrum of people's abilities, and I love meeting them where they're at. I have a little bit of um, experience with Parkinson's disease uh, through volunteering efforts back when I was a student at the University of Virginia. I helped to be sort of like the the launch team the first year that Pancakes for Parkinson's took place on, on grounds at UVA my first year of college and I was with that group helping to run the, um, the fundraiser every every fall, I guess it was um, before, football, before a football game every fall, usually homecomings. And uh, it was a great experience and I learned a lot about Parkinson's and we you know raised the money for the Michael J. Fox Foundation. Um, it was a wonderful, wonderful experience, but I really do love what uh, Power, Power Over Parkinson's is doing in terms of connecting people physically and socially and all the wonderful uh, benefits that that, that that has. So again, um, I've been doing this for a long time. I promise you're in good hands. Um, my undergrad was also in exercise physiology and then I studied um, sports management at Georgetown. So I promise I have your best interests at heart and I really do wish you the best during this um, interesting new season that we find ourselves in and I pray that you would have a healthy body and mind through it and that you can look at exercise as an opportunity to really put on sort of your, your fighting armor to um, stay your healthiest um, in the event that you ever come across this, uh, this COVID virus. And if you don't, then I'm so thrilled to hear that and exercise is just going to help us get through this um, body, mind, and spirit. So take care guys. I hope you enjoy these exercises and hang with me as we get started. Thank you. Bye.